Hey guys, I'm going to be showing you some Goosebumps like book collection and yeah, and I'm going to read you the blurb and yeah, let's get started. First one, Goosebumps for most wanted. Oh. The most wanted uh, Planet of the Lawn Mountains. Yeah. And um, yeah, I'm sure I should shut it down. Wrong way around. So, Planet of the Lawn Mountains. Yeah. Um, uh, let's see, yeah, so it's kind of normal nose, yeah. Wait, what did you blur, blur, blur? Um, Jay Gardner can't seem to stay out of trouble, even after a fresh start in a new neighbourhood. He keeps finding himself in bad situations, but it's not his fault. Jay wants to be a good kid. He really does. It's just these strange things keep happening to him. What kind of place did his family move to? And why does every house have so much lawn gnomes in their yard? Jay better learn quickly that there are things a lot more scarier than his parents. Next one. Goosebumps Horrorland, Revenge of the Living Dummy. Brittany Cross Crosby thinks her cousin Ethan is pretty weird, and she happens to be right. Ethan won't stop tormenting Brittany with an old ventriloquist dummy, and the puppet has plans for Brittany too. Haunted car. <laughs> Haunted car. Good book. M Michael is a car fan fanatic. He knows everything there is to know about every car there is. So when his parents buy a new sports car, he can't wait to have a ride in it. But there's something not right about this car. It is has a mind of its own. Can't it be? Could it be haunted? <laughs> this is from a different series. It's, um, number fifty-five in this other series. I don't know. Uh, goosebumps. The blob that ate everyone. Everyone. Zaki is terrified of everything, everything. Big dogs, the dark, even mice. But he's also very good at writing scary stories. So when he finds an old fashion, fashion type writer in a burnt out shop, he's thrilled. It's just right for write, writing his new story on the blob monster is even go he monster is even going to scare his tough best friend adam perfect except that the story seems to be coming true so what's a scaredy cat like zaki coming true so what's oh, to do now there's an enormous pink blob monster on the on the loose Probably everyone. Goosebumps stay out the basement. Good book again. Yeah. Kind of. Dr. Brewer, Brewer is doing a little plant testing in his basement. Harmless, really. But Margaret 
and Casey are worried about their father, especially when they meet the plants he is growing down there. Then they notice that their father is developing plant-like te- tendencies. Sorry about if that's wrong. Bad reading. Is it just part of their father's harmless experiment? Or has the basement turned into another little drop of forest? Next book. Night of the Living Dummy. Good book again. Very creepy. Chris's twin sister has just found a ventriloquist dummy and it's all anyone. It's all anyone their parents their friends seem to care about. Chris is tired of being ignored, so she gets a a dummy of her own. But trouble, the dummy seems to mean double the trouble and horror. Two more books left. I'm not going to read the blousey things, but to make it quick. Shock on Shock Street. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. Um, yeah. The Werewolf of the Beaver Swamp. Again, pretty good. Pretty bad. Mm, my opinion. And yeah, that's it for today. Smash. Like, I don't care if you break your iPad or whatever. Whatever you're on. Smash that like button or subscribe button. I don't care smash it whatever you do press it at least tons of times just do it please thank you please